What is up everybody? I'm Jason, this is a Freebird Garage. Today we are shooting the FXRT fairing black. Finally, we are on the final base color coat of what this fairing should be. So let's check out the fairing, let's get it done. All right, I'm sure you guys can already hear it. We got the blower running, we got the paint booth up, we got the lights on the outside. It's late at night, community's down, temps are cool, so perfect for painting here in Michigan. This is the fairing we've been working on, the 88 FXRT. The lines were taped down in last week's video. I actually went ahead and redid all the lines again because I was not happy with how some of them were actually laying after I walked around the whole fairing, went back to the photos, and then got real exact into it. Once you start using this tape, it's kind of like drawing and you're just tracing over certain areas. So I got it down to my liking, the distance, everything. My satisfaction, my OCD is gone, so that means it is ready to paint. And I'm gonna do a couple different things to make sure that I don't get any debris that floats around. We're gonna water once more again on the floor. And then I also have this air filter. This whole household filter here, we're gonna use for the blower so that it actually sucks and blocks any debris that would come through that blower itself and then into the booth. Anyway, we can stop any less little hairs dropping down. So we're gonna wet it down first, make sure we get no Debris being blown up, so as soon as you hit it with the gun, all that air and dust shoot up and then it gets all over the paint. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do about three coats, just enough to pretty much layer it over. Not enough that the paint will build up in the corners and to roll with the tape. It's a fear of mine that I have right now that we're gonna get through this and then these corners may have too much paint on them. So, take my time, I'm gonna get through this, all right? So, let's get the paint booth finished and fixed up and ready and then we'll get the paint mixed I'm good to shoot. All right, let's get it done. All right, so I keep picking up small new tricks and uh, even the small stuff helps you five steps ahead. So it feels like everything you do with painting, you have to plan it out so far in advance to make sure you got it correct. Otherwise, you're just going back, scratching up and wasting a bunch of money. But uh, we are reducing one to one on this paint. So you've never seen a ratio cup. I always show this in case anyone wonders what a ratio cup is and how you do it. So we're gonna be going probably to the four and then moving up to the uh, four right there, on there, okay? So I would normally just put the paint right in and then pour the reducer, but let's do the smart thing and actually put the reducer to the four and then I'll mix over here on the paint and pour it in. So it's less of a mess, all right? Small stuff like that helps out trying to make this whole thing more seam line the whole way. All right, so let's get doing this first. Looks good. Hard to see, but we are at the five. Can't wait down on that angle, but we're there. Five, I said four, but we're gonna do five instead. Rather have a little extra in case I gotta cover up any mistakes. All right, it's good there. Let's get our paint mixed. And we're using our Black by Perfect Coat. If you care which brand I'm using, Perfect Coat. This is a Harley Black that my shop has designed. If you go through PPG, it is about $370, $380 per quart. So this right here would be $380 worth of uh, Harley OEM PPG paint. But a lot of people are trying to make a copy of it, it's hard to say what really is different in these different blacks. But gotta go by the purest and try to get as Harley as possible. And that's what we're doing, all right? So let's get this mixed. Let's hope it's not all toast since the last time we used it, which was on the rear fender. That'd be a real, real bummer. That'd probably match with everything else that happens when I'm doing this paint job right now. Oh yeah, looks good. Fresh paint stick, we'll just mix that up first. Just to make sure black is night. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Now, trick, I don't really have one, but we'll pour at least on this side, because I've already made it on that side with it. And we'll keep our reducer over there. Fresh mixing cup, make sure of it. Paranoia, I'm gonna wipe out the bottom. Make a complete mess of everything here. All right, 
That was good. Get our reducer in. And black always seems to thin out a little more than the other colors. So a little less, a little more. It always just seems a little too watery though. Oh man, that's all right. We'll go by what the factory says until I know better. And we will pour it through our filter and our mixing or paint cup. Once again, I use a Harbor Freight Black Widow Magic. Throw that cup in there, paint goes in, keeps everything easy peasy and ready to go. Now we do our slow pour into our cup filter. Get off. Good there. Cap this with our adapter piece for the gun, which has a nice filter on top before it goes in the gun. Make sure that thing is completely sealed. Now that's gonna have a bad day. And our little cap, make sure no air gets in there until we're ready. And only put this on the gun until you're ready. And then the gun flips upside down, clicks, and we're good to go. All right, so time to get the fairing itself in the tent. I'll go from there. Just went ahead and shot all of the coats. I was just in my zone, hitting it right. I saw everything, I didn't want to stop. I had a good process going along and I didn't want to mess up something or forget one step that I was doing it because this was the most crucial thing uh, before I got into the next steps. So I want to make sure everything laid out and I can't believe how well it came out. <laughs> I am very, very happy so far. Uh, the wet coat process of laying this black down. I finally got it to come into what I needed to and stoked. I, I was pretty stressed out because I thought it wasn't gonna lay correctly. I've, it's been fighting me, but I readjusted my gun and got it to like the perfect setting for paint. So I adjusted my pressure properly, uh, how much fluid comes out, the fanning, I did a bunch of research before I shot this base coat because the last couple um, just have either been way too much, way too little, um, too dry in some areas, and I just felt locked in doing this last round of paint. I am stoked. I saw it right before I brought the camera in, and it looks awesome. Obviously, I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. Uh, to know also, I normally would do a clear coat over this, but with this whole pinstriping fiasco and doing this. Um, there's a couple different steps to do it, but I'm going to do a very light sanding and then clear coat it. Normally you wouldn't do that. You would just hit it wet and then clear coat it, which I did with my rear fender, but because of this pinstriping, and then there's a way to do pinstriping where you pinstripe it, you know, like the right we did, hit it with clear, pinstripe it, and then once again, hit it with clear at the very end like how we would do it now but didn't do that i did it this way so i'll, I'll nib it with like a thousand to fifteen hundred uh, probably like fifteen hundred or something like that but super stoked on how this came out um just i'm proud i'm very happy how it, how it did a lot of work to get to that point still a little bit more left to go to get that final look but show you guys what the back looks like let's walk in Bam, look at that. Jet black. Completely different. Look at that sinister look, man. It's so badass already. Whew. Coat came out damn near perfect. I am so stoked. Obviously, you guys can't see everything. Don't we'll pull that pinstriping off. I am stoked to see how that red pops with the black, so. Well guys, until we get the final clear coat and go through that process, that'll be right for me on this one. 
I greatly appreciate it. If you could hit that subscribe button, tap that like, press that notification, leave a comment below and tell what you think. And for those who've already subscribed, thank you. As always, stay free, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.